Hi, this is Becky Winter with iHeart Art Studios bringing you a how to pull palettes apart. If you have a stack of palettes and you've always wanted to know them apart, then you are in the right place. And I would love for you to watch this video on how to pull palettes apart, how to dissemble them, and hacks to make it much easier. So keep watching and you will love this video. I am a woodaholic. More importantly, I am addicted to palette wood. Um, and the reason being is that because typically it's free. As you can see here, I already have a stash in my basement. And then over here, I have a palette right there. All types of wood, actually, because I also have wood right there. And down here, shutters made of wood. And then over here, I have a stash of scrap wood and then cut wood because you don't know. You just don't know when creativity is going to hit. I am on my way to go pick up some pallets from Durham Carpets on Michigan Avenue in Stevens Point. They are cleaning things out while they are closed during the COVID-19 and I'm sitting at a stoplight right now and so we're gonna go see what they have. I called them ahead of time to make sure that they had them because I don't want to leave my house unless I have to and it's kind of essential because I need to bring you information on how to do cool palette projects. They have a stack of palettes. Do you see them right here? So we still have to practice safety and not make sure people come close to us while we're doing this. So. Woohoo! Gonna grab me some pallets. All right, when you are grabbing pallets, it's really important that you wear gloves because they are full of splinters. So that was the pile. And you can see here, I got a good haul. Some of them actually don't fit into my car, so. But I feel like pretty happy. Different sizes, small ones, big ones. Lots of cool, different kinds of wood. <laughs> so excited. Main essentials that you need for pulling apart pallets are protective eyewear, good gloves, don't want to hurt yourself, gardening gloves can work, but I recommend something that's got leather. There are other items like a hammer, a crowbar, this is not really a crowbar, I just can't find mine right now, a mallet, and my favorite, the duck bill deck wrecker. Yeah. Another thing that I've realized is essential when watching back my videos is makeup. <laughs> and as I was applying my makeup, guess what else I found? My curl bar. Of course, I did not find them together, but you know, both equally important. <laughs> so you never know. I mean, you just don't. <laughs> something happens and I have to go to the hospital, maybe I will meet the man of my dreams. <sighs> now, even with all of these tools, it's still going to be hard. It's not for the faint of heart and it is going to take a little bit of muscle. <sighs> and one other thing is kind of important and that would be pallets, right? Okay, let's get some pallets. That was a lot of fun, right? All right, so these are some palettes that I just received today. So they have been um, inside, indoors, and you can tell because the wood still does not look as worn as some of the other kinds. Now, normally palette wood is made with hardwoods because they are designed to carry heavy, heavy things, yes. I mean, pallets are designed to lift thousands of pounds at a time, and so they can be really difficult to pull apart. So they have small sizes and big sizes. Now, if there have been pallets around for a while, these ones have been outside of my house <laughs> for years, probably. So the wood is worn. I'll kind of show you a little bit. The wood is much more um, weathered, you can see. And there's lots of different kinds, and it is heavy. 
but there's lots of different palettes here and sometimes you will get them that are busted but you know what there's still a lot of great wood on this palette which is why I'm still holding on to it hopefully we didn't miss any of the dog remnants so the next thing that we need to know about palettes is that um, they are put together with screws that actually have like spirals in them um, that expand into the wood to keep the nails in. So just being able to pull out a nail is not necessarily going to help you because a lot of times these nails are intensely hard to remove. So we are going to start by using a hammer and a crowbar and we're going to see how, how it goes. All right, I realized that you couldn't see part of what I was doing and so I decided to move my camera around a little bit, turn it the sideways. So I'm gonna try and do another one using the hammer and the crowbar and we'll see how it goes. be wondering why I'm not doing this in my garage and the reason being or in my driveway is because unless you have a tarp to put down um, the nails don't always come out exactly how they how you want them to and I have pulled pellets apart and then the next day I ended up with a hole in my tire so it's important that you make sure if you're doing it in your driveway that you keep an eye on all the nails. So this one actually came out pretty easy. Um, partially I feel like this side's kind of rotted from sitting in the dirt for so long. Um, there are nails like this that are coming out. So I'm going to show you how we can get those out. Nails like this. Um, and a lot of times the wood does crack when you're pulling it out. But that's going to happen regardless no matter unless you're sawing off the wood um, you're gonna end up with a few um, slats of wood that are going to end up uh, cracked or broken it's just a matter of fact and it is kind of hard but it just happens so don't get too attached to your wood before you get it off of your palette okay that's another tip don't be attached to your palette wood too soon <laughs> because it's easy to get attached to certain wood pieces that you love all right, so I'm going to show you how we're going to take out these nails. So, let's see here if you can see what I'm doing. So, what I want to do is a lot of times you can't pull them through this way. You can't get in there because it's in there really far. So, you're actually going to hammer on this side to push it through so then you can pull it out that way. So, this one over here, now you probably want to do this on a good strong base, but gonna try hammering to see if I can get it to come out. Plug your ears. You just want to get it out a little bit. Okay, look at that. I got it out just enough where I can stick my hammer in and pull it out. Then make sure Make sure you have a good, safe place to put it. This is usually the hardest part. Nail number one. I have a flower pot over here. I'm going to stick it in my flower pot. All right. Next ones. Okay, you can't really see what I'm doing, so I'm just going to angle this down a little bit. I'm gonna use the palette as a way of helping me be a sturdy surface. So when you're hammering it out, make sure that you're in those hole areas so that way the nail can go through them. It's starting to come out. You don't need to get it all the way out, just hammer it just enough. I'm going to pull them out. Oh yeah, 
Yeah, this hammer, this nail is twisted a little bit. So I need to kind of bend that. I'm gonna get rid of this nail. So the back side of this had a little bend in it. want to get it into a way where you can pull it out with more ease. Got it. Now you want to make sure to inspect your wood. You don't want to have missed any other nails that might be in there. Okay, I don't see any other nails. This is actually a really good piece of wood that we pulled out. It does have this crack here, but actually, I feel like it adds character to it. So I love that. Another tool that I have discovered, and unfortunately I can't remember how I first heard about this, but um, this is a tool that I have been using that helps me immensely. It is called a deck wrecker. So this one specifically, I bought it on Amazon and I will link it below if you're interested in purchasing it. If you want to pull apart pallets more than just a one-time thing, if you want to consistently, if you enjoy creating things, I would highly recommend investing in this. This specific one is called a duck bill deck wrecker. I got it on Amazon a long time ago. I think I bought this two, three years ago and it is well worth it. I think it was like 89 or $99. So if money's tight for you right now, hold out. But um, once we all get back to working again and you have some income coming in, I highly recommend this. What it does is it actually is designed and built to pull decks apart. Decks look a lot like a pallet. So this part right here goes underneath and then you use your body weight to get it out so you don't have to use the hammer it's it's um, it basically helps your back a lot too so you don't have to be bending over so much so I'll do this for you and I'll just show you how easy it can be okay <laughs> there's some things to note about using the the um, this okay this wood right here the stuff right here it's too wide so when I go to put this in here it's supposed to go over this and go underneath but mine doesn't so I'm gonna show you on a different piece of palette how it works okay What did you think of that? Isn't that amazing? I love the Duck Bill Deck Wrecker. Favorite tool, favorite tool by far. So I'm gonna show you this wood that I pulled up. Now there could be a couple places that do kind of chip off. Just pull those off. You need to inspect your wood. Here I do have a piece that, um, but you will get a very bad sliver. So this is what you should do, pull it off you can and then you can turn this into wood chips <laughs> all right um, these nails are the spirally type of nails so this pallet was designed to carry thousands of pounds so the nails are in there can you see they are spiral so these might be harder to get out but 
Once we have them out, we need to make sure that we dispose of these nails properly, and then we can create some art with them. <sighs> All right, I would like you to take a look at these nails. It is so important that you use safety when you're working with nails. These are rusty nails. Very, very important that you don't drop them or lose them wherever you're working. Oh gosh. Okay. The ground is too soft right here. All right. That was fun. Um, another tip that's really important is it is sunny out here. Okay, I gotta find a different spot. All right, here's another tip. When you are hammering out your nails, keep track, count them. Make sure that the ones that you're hammering out, you end up with at the end. That way you are guaranteeing that you are not leaving any of them behind in the yard, in the driveway. And here's another tip. Take a break. I'm not sponsored by Diet a w but if they wanted to sponsor me, I would be more than happy to drink as much Diet a w as you possibly could give me. It's my favorite soda ever. Tastes like a root beer float out of the can. I should let my dogs come out. <laughs> the sun came out, it's a beautiful day. But I don't want them to get hurt, so that's another tip for you. Don't let your pets get around this stuff because, you know, they just want to get into everything. Not sponsored, but I will accept donations. <laughs> I actually don't drink a lot of soda, but I love Diet a &W. This is like my special treat. So since we're stuck at home, I bought a case of it, like a 24 pack. I drink one a day. Sometimes too, if it's like Friday night. <sighs> All right, so I've taken a little break and then I actually did a bunch of work, but I didn't hate myself doing it because it was kind of slowing me down. I actually got a little bit of sun today and I almost gave myself a black eye. It's important, <laughs> good thing I had my safety goggles on. Um, so what I've done here is I have pulled apart a ton of wood off of the pallets and there is a ton of different type of wood that is located on pallet wood. I a spot here for you. So there is, this was from a small one. Now, these are all very dangerous because they're filled with nails, so make sure that you're careful. I don't want to keep these on the ground because I don't want my dogs to get into them. But, check this out. This is what I used for the my end tables. Um, and if I ever make a, another end table, I will make a video of it and I'll link it here. And sometimes the wood that you're gonna get is gonna be cracked and broken, so like I said, just make sure that you don't get too attached to your wood while it's still on the pallet because you're gonna end up with a great pile of wood when you're done. So far over here, this is the wood that I have that is all ready to go. There are some that ended up cracking. There's a squirrel in the yard. Um, but I got all this wood right here, different sizes, and it all has this different texture. So. There's so many different types of wood that you can get from pallets. It's very exciting to create with it. Make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss anything coming from me and my wildness. My most important tip for you is you don't want to <laughs> neglect these cute little puppies. Oh my gosh, I can't stand how cute she is. She's so cute. I love you. So cute. I can't stand it. I mean, I can stand it, but she's so cute. She doesn't care. Okay. 
for real though. My last tip is it is easier to do things in sections. So grab your palette, start pulling off all of the wood pieces. Don't worry about getting the nails out yet. Once you have all of the wood taken off of the palette, then you can go ahead and start, <laughs> start putting out the nail, taking out the nails. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> Sections. Once you get all of your wood off of the palette, then go ahead and then take all the nails out at a time. Then when you're done with that, then you have all the wood that you need to last you. Keep a stash. Put the stash in your basement, keep it in a closet, put it in your garage, someplace so whenever you get into the mood to create, then you don't have to worry about doing the work to get to being creative. Then you can just be creative, grab some wood, and go. That I think is the most important thing because you don't want anything to hinder your creativity. Sponsored. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm such a dork. Okay, enjoy.